advice for when your flight is about to crash, written by death. Do not romanticize this. You are falling through 36,000 feet of a scorched gravity you were hoping would hold you up. I am coming for you and for the 99 other passengers on board, and let me tell you, there is nothing graceful or beautiful about a sudden, unwanted demise. But do think of romance. Think of love. Write your will on the napkin that came with your ginger ale. Write a poem, write a love letter, whatever you want. It may be that only the soot underneath your hands will read it. But you will have written it with a symphony in your chest. Remember your heart now. Your heart is young, your heart is old. Your heart is the oxygen mask you put over your mouth with such desperate shaking fingers. It always felt as though it could inflate just a little bit more, but that was all standard procedure. Your heart is grateful, but it is also disappointed that it helped you survive. It apologizes on how you must go down. Allow your hands to tremble. Be bitter, be angry, because being at peace being at peace on this, on this machine now called fatality, it is bullshit for most people. Look out the window, imagine that the clouds are on fire, pretend that the sky is a gaping pit that might be able to swallow you, surely that would be quicker. But whatever you do, do not refer to yourself in the past tense, not even in your last minutes, for you will still have a trickle of oxygen left in your airbag lungs you will know when you are a past tense in God's grammar textbook. But I hope you know, you will never be a past tense in the minds of your parents and your children and your partner and all of your friends. They will still save you a seat at Thanksgiving dinner. They will leave presents for you under the tree. Some of them might even pray to you as though you could help them more than any deity out there. You are still going to be cherished. I hope you know that. Well, now, that's all, that now all there is left to do is, for, is ask for your forgiveness for what I must do. Godspeed, my friend.